Hey, peace everyone. This is Illmatical broadcasting to you live and direct from Harlem, New York. Uh, so, the title of this video is um, Brad the Black Men uh, Stop Being Late to the Party. And I think uh, the subject is mainly around Thailand. Um, and I'll explain. You have a number of brothers who, in the wake of the video zoom to Thailand. Brothers are going apeshit about Thailand. And, um, you know, I think Thailand, places like Thailand are done. And brothers are just going to Thailand in 2022. Ye years ago, about 2010, I was uh, on, a, on a message board was had to do a Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. And I was looking at some comments and, and, and the subject of quote unquote black men going to Brazil was a particular thread on this message board. And I never put this European dude mentioned, he said, you know, men have been going to, to Rio de Janeiro for women for years. You know, for years, men have been going to Rio de Janeiro because of the women for years, Brazil for years. He said, he, and I remember him saying that, quote unquote, black men were the last ones to arrive at the party. And this really struck a chord with me because when I got to Brazil, when I got to Rio, I remember club help had been um, in preparation for the Olympics. I think the uh, the Olympic Committee in, in, in Rio de Janeiro, they, tore, they were involved in demolishing and removing a a, a, a noticeable um, an iconic club called Club Help and if you google you go to YouTube you can see videos about this place but it was a place where a lot of dudes would just come and pick up women and it was a bit it, it was a bit seedy and it had like a a risque kind of uh, or maybe uh, I don't want to say a risque but it was known as a, a quote unquote club slash brothel it was like kind of place where it just it was you know decadence was looming in the air and it wasn't so much that i needed to go for that because there are women in brazil still even when i went but the bottom line was i missed something i missed an element of it you know and you could kind of see that when i was there in 2010 that they were trying to pacify a lot of the favelas they were trying to clean up the city's image in a, so to speak and while it was still a very dangerous and interesting place, I missed the best of it. That being said, like, you know, I, I mentioned this in my book. I found out about Thailand and, and this is not a knock on any of the brothers who are still going. Of course, if you're still going, fine. Um, but when I was in the book, I talk about how um, a group of Asian guys I worked with back in 2000 before 9-11, they were the first ones to really put me on to Thailand. And, you know, I think it's been covered in movies. It's been covered in, you know, Leonardo DiCaprio's The Beach. It's been covered in these these movies called uh, Hangover or something. You know, a group of guys go out in a bachelor party and it's called The Hangover. And uh, so there's been plenty of movies about Thailand. And um, it, it was just so odd that Zoom to Thailand was the thing that catapulted a lot of brothers or made them interested in going out to Asia. The thing is, brothers, there are a lot of other there are other places in asia i think you might be interested in going to um one of them is um vietnam vietnam is very chill uh the women don't have a lot of cultural hang-ups uh like the women in thailand the women in thailand have a lot of cultural hang-ups um and people are a little bit more relaxed in terms of uh, culture and also, it's probably a better place for you to consider settling down. It's a little bit easier than Thailand. If you're interested in doing remote work, it's a good place for people who can who are interested in, in working remotely. They have a lot of co-working centers. And people don't bug out about your skin. Like, there are plenty of Africans living in, in different parts of Vietnam. And they've always been, they in Vietnamese have been exposed to a lot of Africans or African-Americans. Um, to different, you know, different parts of time. So they have a history with African people. 
um, they have a different temperament than the rest of Asia. But it, what I'm trying to get at is uh, there are alternatives. There are places that you want, like everything you want, honestly. Honestly, I mean, if you, if you really just want to go and hang out, have a good time, you can go to Phnom Penh in Cambodia and get everything that you're looking for there. Um, I'm just saying this because like we have we have a tendency to also uh, I was chatting with someone and his brother pointed out that a lot of times we make the mistake of going to places that Caucasians have set up. Like this brother said, we were talking about Bali, and um, you know he pointed out that that the place really just became on and popping because the Caucasians were the ones that were going out there and making it popular. And ironically, the thing is, um, in the wake of this girl, there was a young lady from the United States, a lesbian. She was a quote unquote black woman who went out to Bali, got in a Twitter beef, and was showing everybody her luxury apartment or whatever and she wound up losing it because I, mean, I think there was an issue with her visa and she was encouraging people to do something illegal or whatever the case may be but they kicked her out of the country they got her out of there and this of course stimulated a lot of people in their interest in bali as a result bought the prices in bali have gone up i've heard it's, it's it's much more expensive than it was three or four years ago and so what i'm saying is that that place is already i don't want to say it's done but i think when you're traveling even for me like my next travel this this places i've been to that i i'm not i, I uh i don't really talk about i say I, I share a lot of stuff in my book uh, homeboy in the pyramids but also there's a lot of stuff that i i don't share you know i keep some things to myself there are certain towns i've been to certain places i've been to that i would never share um and in terms of Thailand, um, I had interviewed with uh, there's a, I interviewed with a brother. He 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 worked at a school and he had um, you know he had a daughter. And he was married in Thailand, and um, he put me on to some game about some very connected brothers who have been in Bangkok, Thailand, for maybe about fifteen or twenty years. A group of brothers. They have a group, and I'm not going to mention who they are, what kind of group it is, but um, they're well connected brothers of so things. You know, if, if I went and needed to get things done and they, you know, these are the people to talk to. Um, I just mention this because, <clears throat> you know, Thailand isn't new and there's plenty of opportunity in other locations. It just seems like we have a tendency to go somewhere and I don't want to say, you know, we're we're followers, but. You know, we're, we're the last, like Thailand, you know, is, is I don't want to say it's done, but in terms of like what it has to offer, you know, it's pretty much, it's pretty much over. You know, there's a lot of, you know, you have a lot of people who are working in Thailand, going there, teaching English since the 90s, you know, and that was their paradise. And then that, that opportunity is over as well. So... I don't know. I think that, uh, you know, there's plenty of other interesting places to consider. My, you know, the whole point of this video was like, we shouldn't always be the last ones to get to the party or try to avoid being the last, the last one at the party. Um, try to get to a location before it's done in terms of, um, you know, there are any major political changes. Uh, example, um, when I went to Beijing, you know, I got there late. I got there in 2013 and 2013 the government made a lot of changes for foreigners and it was a, a very it was a very interesting year because there were a lot of people who had been living and working in China and Beijing for years on a tourist visa um, I remember this one uh, I mentioned this in the book there was this one Irish girl I had been working with she was working as a teacher and you know for like three or four years her her routine was every few months she would just go to you know go to Hong Kong renew her visa and come back and work you know it was an ongoing party but 2013 was the year they shut her down and she had to go back home to Ireland and then she was devastated you know because the party was over there was no more you know the the 
the party of, of, of hanging out in Beijing because Beijing was ba- pretty much even though you worked a little bit Beijing was like an ongoing party um, in the wake of the Olympics 2008 and 2013 I had just really missed the uh, it would have been better for me to had he- set, head out to Beijing like 2010 you know so this is the whole point of the video try to get to these places before either Hollywood gets there or there are too many you know changes politically or there are too many people or, or there's too many or there's too much exposure in the media because too much exposure honestly is a bad thing um, you want to get to a place and get yourself set up and get situated and hopefully there aren't too many people around but definitely consider uh, Vietnam and there's a lot of places you can go that you can have this, the stuff that you're looking for in Thailand there's other places out in Asia that offer the same same or similar experience and you probably would pay much less for overall your, your accommodations and airfare and have much more of an interesting experience alright peace <laughs>